ไปหายดูดีไหมนุ่มที่ฉันฮัลโหลคุณดีไหมคุณอยู่ดีไหมดีไหมดีไหมดีไหมดีไหมดีไหมดีไหมดีไหมดีไหมดีไหมดีไหมดีไหมดีไหมดีไหมดีไหมดีไหมดีไหมดีไหมดีไหมดีไหมดีไหมดีไหมดีไหมดีไหมดีไหมดีไหมดีไหมดีไหมดีไหมดีไหม How was your day? I am fine, teacher. Nice. Okay. How many are we? Only four. What happened to everybody? What happened? Okay. Se nos se nos ha pegado la la colcha. <ríe> Quizá hay mucho tráfico, ¿verdad? How do you see the traffic? How do you see the traffic? Um, how do you see the traffic? You see terrible? Is there traffic today? When I come back to my house, teacher, it was a little empty. Mm. It was not too heavy. No. Okay. Teacher. Hola, hola. Hello, soy Ceci. Hi, Ceci, tell me. Eh, teacher, fíjese que ahorita voy saliendo del trabajo y voy a manejar, así que no sé si voy a ir conectada, si no se me corta la señal. Y cuando llegue a la casa me conecto desde la compra. Perfecto. Ajá, le aviso para que me ponga presente ahí. Ok, ok. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Vamos a ver. Eh, hmm. César Antonio, eh, muy bien, César Antonio, un cheque. Sí. <ríe> ok. Okay, okay. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Sylvia Inez. Okay, now you did it. Okay. Nice, Sylvia Inez. Okay. Hey, Jacob, what happened to Jacob? Do you know anything? Vamos a ver, Jonathan and Jose David, that I can see. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Jose David told me Good yesterday. Evening. Jose David, hi. Hi. Good evening. Vamos a ver. Good evening. Good evening. I'm waiting for you. 
I'm waiting for you to check a tent. Nice. Ba, okay. Perfect, perfect. Let's see. Now we are more, right? Now we can start. If not, I have to repeat the attendance twice. Eh, Amanda, Yesenia. Amanda, Amanda. Amanda, no hay. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Amanda Yesenia, present. Present. Nice. Nice, nice. Carlos Alfredo. Carlos Alfredo. Present. Present. Excellent, Carlos Alfredo. Cecilia del Carmen. She told me she's driving right now, right? Cesar Antonio. Hi, Cesar. Present. Hola. Claudia Ivon. Present teacher. Claudia. Jacob Alfredo. Jacob, no here. Jonathan. Good evening, teacher present. Okay. Eh, Jose David. <coughs> present teacher. Juan Antonio. Present. Juan Carlos. Karen Leticia. Present teacher. Thanks. Carla Jamilet. Present teacher. Great. Catherine Bridget. Catherine. Catherine Bridget, no. Connie, 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 Marco Rubén, <coughs> Marco Rubén, Minor, 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 Sandra, present, nice, Silvia Estela, Vistela. Present sí. teacher. Es que en la computadora que estoy trabajando no tiene cámara. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Si sí, yo la vi por allí, yo dije, no me oyes, invita. Va, ah, ok. Perdón. <risa> Silvia Inés. Silvia Inés. Ay, ay, no. Tatiana. Tatiana, Tatiana. Catherine. Present. Nice. Ok. Ahí estamos. 13. Hmm. Bueno. How are you today? Nice, nice. Fine, thanks. Ok, we are about getting to the weekend. One more day. One more day and you go to weekend again. Wow, time is really flying, right? Well, let's see. Today, it's February 9th, right? February 9th. And we are going to start now we're going to talk a different topic, check. Today we're going to discuss how to you should and should not, right? Should and shouldn't. That's the structure for today. And you will see when we use should and shouldn't. And the objective today says students will be able to use should and shouldn't to make a list of appropriate and inappropriate behavior at work. What should you do? What shouldn't you do, right? And work. Okay. Now, let's begin with this. 
What is inappropriate behavior? Inappropriate, that's the word, right? What is inappropriate behavior? Who wants to help me read the definition? Who wants to help me read? Volunteer. volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, Amanda, go ahead. While? Dele, uh -huh. um, <laughs> ya while, is, mm -hmm. while it is expected that everyone in the workplace will behave, behave in a professional manner and treat teacher other with dignity and respect. It does not always happen. Mm -hmm. Yes. So remember, we always expect, right, that in the office or in the workplace, people get along, get along very well, that they treat the others with dignity, with respect. Right? So unfortunately, it doesn't happen all the time, right? Sometimes uh, somebody wants to, to do something different. And some examples that we have of inappropriate behavior are, for example, harassment, bullying, arriving late to work, being absent regularly, and sometimes being absent with no reason, right? Those are is some types of inappropriate behavior. There may be more, right? There may be more. Later on, we will be talking about others. But at the moment, we're going to be talking about this. What is harassment? What is harassment? No? When we talk about acoso, that's acoso. Can be of any any type of harassment, right? Sexual, sexual harassment or any other type of harassment. Uh, bullying, we all know what is bullying, right? Yes. Unfortunately, that happens too. And we could believe that we are adults, of course, we're not going to be suffering bullying or making bullying to others. But unfortunately, that happens. Yeah, unfortunately, that happens. So that is another behavior that is not appropriate. Have it, check it. Let's repeat here. We have expected. Expected. Repeat. Expected. Behavior. Expected. Behave. 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 Professional. 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 Manner. 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 Dignity. 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 Respect. 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 Okay. Harassment. Harassment. Arrest. Arrest. Bullying. 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 Absent. 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 Okay. Do you have any question here about vocabulary? Hmm? Questions? No questions. No. Now, look at the questions, right? You're going to discuss these questions with your partners. Number one, does the company have regulations about employees' behavior? You will see yes or no. And then you will name three examples of unacceptable behavior in your phone. Okay? And we have a definition of, of behavior, right? The way that someone acts in different situations, that's the definition for behavior. The way that someone acts in different situations. 
the company expects polite behavior from all employees. Interrupting other people when they speak is not a good behavior. Gossiping about co-workers is rude behavior. What is gossiping? What is gossiping? Chambres, something mm -hmm. like that. Exactly. Exactly. Gossiping, rude. What is rude? What does it mean, rude? Hmm? Rude, right? That's rude. Rude. Bye. Any questions? Rude. Yes. Questions so far? Questions? No questions. Teacher, no. sorry, Oye. ¿qué había dicho qué significaba de, de Javier? Behavior. 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 Uh -huh. Behavior is the way someone acts in different situations. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's behavior. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. Thank you. How you act in different situations, right? That's the behavior. Okay. Questions? Any other question? If me, no, no, teacher. No, no teacher. No. no. Bye. Vámonos, pues. I'm going to send you to the rooms and you're going to go discuss the questions. Well, I'm going to paste them there uh, for you in the chat. Ah, uh -huh. here. I'm going to, to paste them in the chat. So you say, teacher, I don't find them in the manual. Okay, like this. Here you will have them. Okay. Did you see the questions there in the chat? Yeah. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> que molesta la teacher. Vaya, vámonos. Pues I'm going to send you in groups of three. I'm going to make four groups of three. Andrita, you will stay. No. Qué bonita, la estoy mandando a un grupo usted. You will stay here with a couple of people. That's it. Okay. Ah, there you go. Join, join, please. Vamos a mandar a Juan Antonio. Porque así el que venga tarde que quede con usted, Sandrita, hoy. Okay. Teacher, how do you, how do you say eh, eh, robo, falsedad, eh, fraude. intelectual, fraude? Falsedad, ya vamos a buscar el diccionario. Vamos a inventarlo aquí. Ah. ¿Qué quiere, robo? No, es... Fraude. Cuando usted presenta un trabajo final y, y ah, que no es copia, suyo. solo copia y pega. Ajá, pero Eso se llama un... plagio. Plagio, es, thank you. Plagio es plagiarism. Plagiarism. Thank you. I'm, I'm going to paste it there in the, in the Zoom chat. Plagiarism. You see? Oh, Silvia Inés has problems. Yes. She cannot talk. Ah, bueno, but uh, from, from the telephone, but you can speak, Silvia. Yeah. Y Jonathan. Ah, vaya, vaya. Ah, pues sí, no problem. Y Jonathan will be, 
will be here too. Okay, so you will be. You will be. Hola, hola. Hi, Jonathan. Hello. Hello. You can stay here with Sandra and Silvia Inés. Okay. Casi no le escucho, Ticha, pero. Tal vez le escucha a Sandra y a Silvia. Ok, ok, te, ok, Ticha. Ok, va, perfecto. Sería es, es more eh, the employer. Okay. Es un chambre, dijeron. Sí, es que normalmente pasa? sucede eso. No sé por qué pasa, pero yo mejor a veces mejor no opino, ¿verdad? Porque la gente dice, no, es que pasó eso. Ah, pues si no fue ella, fuiste vos. Entonces se pone, y yo digo, ay, ¿para qué discutir con esta gente? <risa> y casi siempre dicen que tienen la razón. Yes, better be quiet. Yes. <risa> I be quiet cuando... Cuando no nos conviene, o sea, yo mejor me quedo callada. Pero sí, normalmente hay gente que acusa a otra persona, vea. Y ahí es donde se hace el chambre. Unacceptable behavior. Uh -huh. In my case, I have three, three co-workers. Oh. And is... Is very of oh, is difficult to speak that about other co-worker because mm. I am alone in my job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In my case, I work in, in the house, but when I go to the office, some people told me about anything and I I, I, up, I close my ears and don't talk with some people for this reason, for the gospel. Yes. Is better. Be careful. ¿Qué otra palabra íbamos a sacar de ahí? No, no, no me fijé. Pero ver. Solo íbamos a decir eso. The company sí. express. Discutan las preguntas. Ah, ah, sí. uh -huh. Bueno, solo hemos dicho gossiping. Gossiping. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Gossiping. Gossiping, sí. Ah, falta eh, coworkers. About coworkers. Eh, bueno, creo que sería otra acceptable behavior. Eh, bullying. Ajá. Uh -huh. Shoot behavior. Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. uh, ¿Cómo diría? ¿Alguna vez les han hecho bullying? Yes. <laughs> Normalmente. <laughs> so sad, right? Sí. Is, uh, is usually uh, the bullying for me person. <laughs> eh, really? Yes. Eh, como normalmente los chicos son, bueno, la mayoría de mis compañeros son más jóvenes que yo. ¿verdad? Yo soy la más mm -hmm. mayor de todos. <laughs> Entonces mm -hmm. dice, ay, no, ay, que no sé qué. <laughs> Entonces les digo yo, no, pero eso me hace más fuerte. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Así es, teacher. Imagine, yes, I know what it is to suffer bullying. <laughs> sí. Is, is hor, eh, ¿Cómo se dice horrible en inglés? It's, it's horrible. It's horrible. It's horrible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, especially if you suffered bullying as a child and then as an adult and you go like, what? I thought it was already uh, over, right? So I, I will not suffer bullying again, but sometimes that happens again. Mm -hmm. In the school is war. War. Yes. yes, that's true. That's About true. the name, the um, socks, shoes, face, <laughs> teeth. Yeah. <Yo>, me. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's true. Mm -hmm. Or because you're too thin, or because you're too fat, whatever. But that's a, a big thing. Yeah. Unfortunately. <laughs> por todo um, y por nada. <laughs> exactly, exactly. La, la primera, que digamos, como que. Hello, teacher. Hi. Hi, hi. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Ah, okay. Yes, 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 I do. Nice. Uh -huh. Continue. Just here. I have a question, teacher. Uh, en, en esta, según la imagen, digamos, solo sería como responder las entre nosotros y a la y aparte mencionar, digamos, los, los tres ejemplos. Ajá, uh -huh. exactly. Ah, exactly. Exactly. Eh, ¿Cómo se llama el joven? Eh, no sé si pues, ya le entendiste, Carlos, a las preguntas. Las preguntas, ¿cuáles son las del la, cuadrito rosado? Ajá. Y también la, la primera del lado izquierdo, la Dust You ah, Company. Dust You Company. You Company High Revolution. I got mm. Digamos, yo según las tres preguntas, o sea, en, en la primera, eh, yes, eh, in my company, sí, in my company, it's very important. Mm -hmm. Y son bien, quiero ver cómo se dice, ¿cómo se dice estrictos en inglés? Strict. Strict. ¿Cómo? Strict. 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 Sí. Strict. Strict. Mm, no, sí, en la primera. En donde yo estoy, sí, con eso de las, digamos, de los comportamientos, ahí sí son bien estrictos. Ah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Ya sea buenos o malos, ahí sí son bien estrictos. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ah, it's better because imagine. Mm -hmm. So, it is very sad that you are an adult and you're still trying. Bullying, right? That cannot be possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interrupting or como tres ejemplos, ejemplos. Sí. tres ejemplos de comportamientos inaceptables um, de hello teacher hi hi how mm. are you doing are you about to finish yeah yeah yes teacher yes, yes. Nice, nice. Vámonos. Pues. That's okay. Go. In your case, Marco, or your company? Um, perdón. Uh, in your company, have this this kind of regulation with arrangement mm, uh, well. pues eso no me acuerdo haberlo escuchado le voy a decir honesto uh, acoso sexual sexual yo creo que no está no está estipulado really? no me acuerdo haberlo escuchado en el reglamento okay. um, bullying es, es permitido no. Bullying. <risa> no, tampoco no está, no está dentro de los. Lo que pasa es que como una institución educativa es muy diferente el reglamento, pero no, no me acuerdo haberlo leído yo más. Ah, uh, in your case, my, well, in my case, flashing, 
el plagio. Lo que sí permite, lo, exigen bastante es que tiene que venir con el uniforme. Eso sí. Todo. Really? Where do you work? I'm a teacher. <laughs> okay. Nice, nice, nice. A ver. Eh, let's see. I'm going to share the screen again. Tell me, does your company have regulations about employees' behavior? Yes. Yes. Have yes. Regulations. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Okay. What are examples of unacceptable behavior in your company? El harassment. Harassment. Okay. Another one. Arriving late to work. Arriving late. Yeah. How? What is late in your company? Late for us. Five minutes. Five minutes before. For example, if you arrive, imagine you went there at seven and you mark exactly at seven. That means late. No, it's on time. But okay. if I put my check my entrance, uh -huh. if I seven two or three minutes, it's late. It's late. Yes. Okay. So you have to check in exactly at seven. Exactly. On time. Uh -huh. Exactly or or before better. Before. Okay. Mm -hmm. Aha, uh -huh. what about the others? Yeah, I ask you what is late because it depends, right? Somebody can tell you, well, at seven o'clock is late. While somebody else can tell you, no, still seven is okay. Five minutes before will be very early. Or somebody yes, can tell you no, 15 minutes before is early. Right? So it depends on the company. Aha. Uh -huh. Can you give me another example of unacceptable behavior? Fraud. Hmm? Fraud. 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 Yes. Mm -hmm. Fraud is an example of unacceptable behavior, of course. Another one? Inappropriate language. Definitely. Inappropriate language. Right. So imagine calling for workers or colleagues with bad words or so as words instead of calling them by their names. Right. What about nicknames? Hi, yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Is yes. that acceptable for you in your company? Calling me now. Um, in the company, nick no, but nickname in the nickname. Apodo. Apodo. Yes. Sí, apodo. In the company is not correct, but but people do. Yes. In my people company, do. it depends. It depends. Depends on what? Uh, for the nickname. Ajá. Bueno, no sé cómo se, se dice en inglés. O sea, depende del tipo de apodo. Ok, ok. De okay. tipo. If it is not offensive, it would be ok. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it depends if your boss is near about us. <laughs> ok. Or if you are calling the other with the nickname in front of the customers, right? Maybe when you're having lunch in the room, only you, mm, but in the middle or in front of the, of the visitors, definitely not, right? That would be unacceptable. Okay, anything else that would be unacceptable in your company? Unacceptable behavior? 
No yeah. more. In some, in some company, uh, the relationship. Okay. So you cannot date your colleague. No dating between colleagues. Okay. I see. What else? Is there anything else? Anything else? Anything else? No more? What about being absent without reason? Being absent? Is that appropriate or inappropriate? With no reason. I know the one I did no boy. Is that acceptable? It's, it's, accept, it's, it's not, not acceptable. It's not acceptable, teacher. Yeah. Sometimes we feel like, I don't quiero ir, but maybe the next day we won't want to go again either. <laughs> so we cannot do it. Okay. Now let's see. Moving, moving. Check. We have here a conversation we're going to read. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his fun. Did you see that? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely, that is not polite. He should answer his messages after the meeting. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. I agree. We should help him instead. Okay, now let's repeat. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his fun. Robert is addicted to his fun. Did you see him? Did you see him? You're right. You're right. He should not have in a meeting. He should not have in a meeting. Absolutely, that's not polite. Absolutely. 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 He should answer his messages after the meeting. He should answer his messages after the meeting. After the meeting. And we should not talk about him. And we should, should not talk about, about, about him. It's not polite either. That's not, not polite. That's not polite either. Agree. We should help Agreed. him instead. Agree. Agree. We should help him instead. I need a couple of volunteers to read the conversations. Who wants to read? Volunteers? Yeah, hmm? Who will be my volunteers? Me, teacher. Okay, Amanda. And who will be my next volunteers? One more volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, Claudia and Amanda, go ahead. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his message after the meeting. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Agree. We should help him instead. Okay. One more volunteer. One more volunteer. Sandra. Two more, two more, two more. Sandra, Sandra, Silvia. <laughs> Sandra and Silvia Estela. Bye, go ahead. Dígame, teacher. Who begins? Yeah, I am Claudia. Okay. I can believe, believe in Robert is... I can't addict. believe it. Believe it. I can't can believe, believe it in Robert is addicted to high spawn. His spawn. Spawn. Fun. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. Absolutely. That is not police. Polite. 
Polite. Polite? Non polite. He should answer his message, message after the meeting, and we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Ah, great. We should help, help him instead. I was instead. Yeah, we should instead. help him instead. Okay, nice. Thank you. Now, see, what are you going to do here? You're going to work in pairs. You're going to discuss these two questions. What are some polite behaviors you expect from your colleagues? And what are some rude behaviors you, your coworkers are not expected to do? See? So, here we mention couple, right? Like, Using the, the using the phone in a meeting is rude. It's not polite, right? It's not polite. So that is rude. It's not expected that you use the phone while you're in a meeting, right? Especially if you're at the front and you're deliberately uh, looking at the phone. So it's not polite. Now. What you're going to do is discuss these questions with your partner first, and then make a mini conversation. Mini digo así, chiqui. Make a mini conversation using these answers that you will give to these questions. Okay? De acuerdo? What are you going to do? Vamos a ver. What are you going to do? We answered the two questions. Uh -huh. And we have um, a mini conversation. A mini conversation sí. about them. Exactly. La conversation, cambienle todo, ¿verdad? Lo que quieran cambiarle. Y, Y allí incluyen las respuestas que se dieron primero en estas preguntas. ¿Ok? Yes. Vámonos. That's okay. Ok, vaya. I'm going to send you. Oh. I'm going to send you. Dice que lo voy a dejar en grupo de tres para que para que se apoyen, ¿verdad? Para que se apoyen in the conversation. I'm going to exchange a couple of you. Mm -hmm. Bye, ahí está. Vámonos, pues. Three, 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 three. Join, join, please. Right, join. Cecilia, ya vine. No, no, no. Vamos a ver, try to join Juan Antonio. Según la imagen que mandó, la conversación hay que irle como cambiando. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad, Tichu? Uh, exactly. ¿De la, de la discusión o okay. de la otra? First discuss the questions and then you change the, the, the conversation. La conversación la van a adaptar según esta respuesta, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Do you have the conversation? Eh, ¿En qué página está? Perdón, perdón. Estoy buscando. Oh. 
Oh, you want to edit though. Teacher, ¿en qué página está? Hey, no sé. <risa> es que yo tengo mi presentación aparte. Bueno. Así que buscando la estoy con. Ya, me dijo. It is page 31. 31, 31. Yes. Ah, aquí está. Uh -huh. yes. Let's go right. La de Claudia y Raúl. Ok. Vaya, que se puede cambiar. <laughs> La de Claudia y la U. Y ya, ya está aquí en el chat. ¿O dónde está? En el manual. No, en el manual. Ah, ¿En qué página dice? 31. Ah. I can't believe we have this edit. Discuss the discussion with the partner. What's our song? Donde está una, una de, 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 de blusa amarilla y un joven de espalda con camisa azul. Ah, perfecto. Creo que llegué. Ah, ya. Communication of the workplace, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. I can, I can believe. It Robert is addicted and to his phone. 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 Did you Did see you him? him? Uh -huh. Vaya, pero en este caso, ¿cómo, cómo tenemos que cambiarle? Uh, ¿Es que hay... Uh -huh. hay que re re reacomodarlo, digamos, a nuestra manera. I can, I can significa, no necesito ayuda, ¿verdad? I can't believe it, no puedo creerlo. Ah, no puedo creerlo. No puedo creerlo. Mira el fulanito allá con el cell phone a media reunión. Ah, ah, I can't believe. Ahí poniéndolo en nuestro vocabulary. Ah. Sí. I can't believe it. Well, addicted to his phone. To... Ah, okay. sí, hay muchos. <laughs> Did you see? Did you see him? him? Mm -hmm. Lo viste. Lo viste. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ah, o sea que aquí estamos haciendo lo que lo que dijo usted, teacher, de lo de lo, ¿cómo se llama? De las, ay, se me fue esta palabra. Oh, sí. ¿Cómo fue? Ah, ajá, de exactly. las. Exactly. Sí, sí. Mm -hmm. oh, sí. Bueno, entonces ahí sí ya me suena que están que están ya queriendo poner en Behavior, behavior, ¿cómo era, ticha? Behavior, behavior, behavior. Ah, behavior. You write that should not chat in a meeting. Uh -huh. I can't believe. This. Ah, vaya, en este sería I can't believe it. Eh, tengo una compañera que se llama Ale, entonces podría decir aquí, Ale is addicted to the eh, redes sociales o cómo no, sería social network. To, social, to social network social network ajá sería did you hear? así algo así se iría a o oh, hay algo que cambiarle ahí más. Cambiarle todo lo que quieran cambiarle. Ah, genial. Es hacer como una conversación nueva, por así decirlo. Ajá, exacto. Pero con, 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 you, algo así, ¿verdad? Behavior. Behavior. <risa> Siempre viendo esa, esa. Sí, por eso si el... quieren primero responden las preguntas allí. Ajá. Para que ya tengan el vocabulario que pueden ocupar. Uh -huh. Va. Perfecto. Las preguntas. Discussion the question why affirmative entry. 
de la misma página. Discussion, the question, white uh, partner, partner. Ah, las la dos de los cuadritos. A partner. Ajá. Uh -huh. What are some polite behavior you expect from your coworker? What are some polite behavior you expect polite. from your coworker? Ah. ¿Qué es? Ella lo hizo. ¿Quién fue? What is polite behavior? Bueno, según la primera, uh -huh. what are some polite behaviors? Mm. Uh -huh. From my coworkers. Uh -huh. It's mm, haciendo de acuerdo a la conversación que está aquí. Okay. Lo que hace Raúl y Claudia. Okay. Teacher, how do you say acoso sexual? Sexual harassment. Sexual sí. harassment. Sexual harassment. ¿Y si fuera acoso laboral? Only harassment. Only harassment. Okay. Acoso laboral, ¿sí? Sí. Harassment. 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 Sería la... Serían como cuatro ideas de esa, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Voy a hacer en otra ronda, como que chambre. ¿no? El cose. El cose. Discrimination. Use bad words. Gritar. Uh -huh. Ajá, teacher, how do you say gritar? Shout or scream. Puede ser shout. Porque scream es cuando grita sin miedo, ¿no? Ajá, solo es el sonido del grito. Pero wow. shout es cuando grita palabra, ya. Y eso sería nada más. Oh. No sé en su trabajo si, si hay algo más. Es como lo que hemos buscado lo más que se da. Alguna departamento más. De departamentos. Sí. Is is for me it's more easy to work with men than women. Mm -hmm. 
para esta terminación de semana. Insult, insultos, eh, Karen, la no puede caer como ahí. Ajá. Uh -huh. How do you say insultos, teacher? Insult. Eh, yo le expliqué, eh, explicaba a Silvia y ya volvemos a la clase. Ahí sí, uh -huh. Entonces, que una de las que podría ser eh, la llegada tarde de los compañeros a una reunión, otro que puede ser eh, rude behavior es. Eh, derogatory comments towards women, o sea, los comentarios. Ay, como porque le dije sí. Ay, porque ten, de esto. los comentarios denigrantes hacia la mujer o hacia el hombre en, en, en both case, en uh -huh. ambos casos. ¿Qué uh -huh. teníamos que hacer la conversación? Ok, ok, ok. Vamos a ver. What are some polite behaviors you expect from your coworkers? Hmm? What are some polite behaviors you expect from your coworkers? Leave it. It. Sí, leave it. Ah, perdón, perdón. No, 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 no. Polite. Perdón, teacher, no me he fijado que tengo. What are some polite behaviors? Polite. Yes, Cecilia. Teacher. Hola. Uh, uh, polite behavior. Yeah. Uh, Tal about uh, other the teamwork. We play to reading. No be punctual meeting. Be punctual. Don't suppose that the others have to wait for you, right? Teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. No le quería informar que ya había venido. It's uh, very good, Cecilia. Very good. Nice. Hey, imagine if the others need help, you can offer them help, right? That's polite too. To offer help when the others need. What else? The teamwork. 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 Okay. Um what are some rude behaviors? This gossiping. Gossiping? Yes. Gossiping. What else? What else? What else? Apart of gossiping. Mm -hmm. mm, another. Is correct. Uh, derogatory comments towards women. Okay, yes. Or towards, or towards men, right? 
In so this case, yes. uh -huh. in this case, both. Both. Lack of tolerance, right? That would be a, a problem. Lack of tolerance. Uh huh. What else? What else? No more. By now, I would like to listen to a couple of volunteers reading your conversation that you did with the change that you did. Volunteers will be my volunteers. Volunteers, no volunteers. Victims, then Carlos Alfredo, hello. Sí. Who was your partner, Carlos Alfredo? Okay. Carlos Alfredo, who was your partner? La conversación, teacher. Sí, teacher. Sí, sí, sí. Teacher, I, I work with Carlos. Okay, okay. okay. Share your conversation, right? Are you ready? No, teacher. Come on. Tell me what you have. My Claudia, for you. Okay. Um, I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Do you see him? Carlos. La conversación esta, teacher, casi se me corta la, el audio, casi. Sí, vale. sí, Carlos, the conversation. Ok. Ay, eh, Claudia va a iniciar, pues yo, ¿no? Ya inició. She's waiting mm. for you. Ok. You are right. She's so. No chat. Ahí, maybe. Absolutely, that is not polite. Uh, he uh, shows answer his should, Carlos, should, should, he should, he should answer. answer his mail messenger, messenger often the meaning meeting meeting and um, we should. No tell. Talk. Tell. Talk. About. In the. Not polite. Pot, polite. Polite edit. Either. Either. Mm -hmm. Agree. We should help him instead. ¿Y la que hicieron usted? Creo que nadie logra hacer uno. No alcanzaron a hacer uno. Oye, ¿quién se quiere arriesgar a ir cambiando? No van a cambiar todo. Solo quiero que cambien esto. Y el Robert, vamos a decir Robert, vamos a decir otro nombre. Is addicted to his phone. Ahí van a poner alguno de los cosas que dijeron acá. Y el otro, he should not que. ¿Verdad? He should not, vamos a dejarle in a meeting, y vamos a decir, he should not, he should not, y le vamos a cambiar esto, dependiendo de qué dijeron que era verdad. And that's not polite, eso se lo vamos a dejar. He should, y le vamos a cambiar, solamente le vamos a cambiar los problemas, oye, y lo demás lo deja ahí. He should, he should answer his son after the meeting. Le cambiamos esto. And 
Esto se lo pueden dejar para, porque es un goce, ¿verdad? Le podemos dejar el goce ahí. ¿Ok? De acuerdo, de acuerdo. ¿Qué vamos a cambiar? Solo lo que está subrayado. Who wants to be my volunteers? Only two. Two at a time. A ver, a ver. Volunteer. 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 Uh -huh. I try. Okay, Karen, go ahead. Okay. With Ceci. Okay. No sé si ahí llegó. Ceci está ahí. Hola, Karen, si sí, aquí estoy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ay, pero, pero estoy I algo can... perdida, Karen, porque yo no no oí no, todo eso. <laughs> Pero bueno, voy a hacer el okay. intento. Dele, dele, vamos, Back. de eso se trata. I can't believe it. Juan is addicted to send email inappropriate me emails. Did you see him? Mm, you write he should uh, not email in meeting. Absolutely, that is not polite. Um, he should uh, send emails. After he email after meetings, and she should not talk about him. Does not polite either. Polite, polite, polite either. Okay. either. Mm -hmm. Agree, we should have, we should he, help okay. him instead. Yes, nice. <laughs> you see, that was easy. Fine, now look at this. We're talking today about should and shouldn't, right? Should. Recuerdan, he should, he should not. O le podemos decir shouldn't. Lo que sucede es esto. Cuando usted no usa contraction, sino que lo deja complete, es como que le quiere dar más fuerza. Should not chat in the meeting. Hey, he shouldn't chat in the meeting. No suena tan fuerte. Como que usted diga, he should not chat in the meeting. We should not talk about him. ¿Sí? Suena más fuerte si lo ocupa completo que si lo ocupa con contraction. Pero, we can use the contraction. No. Now, look at this. Eh, the guard should answer my good morning. So you say, you arrive to your workplace and you say good morning, but the guard look at, looks at you like, And that's an answer, right? The word should answer my good morning greeting. Linda should greet with a firm handshake. Linda gives you the hand like this. So she should greet with a firm handshake. Yes. The supervisor should use a greeting in emails. The supervisor should use a greeting in emails. Uh, the, imagine in this case, the behavior is rude, right? The supervisor only writes. Um, meeting tomorrow morning at eight o'clock. Be punctual. And that's it. That's rude. He should say, good morning, everyone. I hope to see you in the meeting we have for tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Oh, if he wants to be very formal. Um, I want to inform you that you have a meeting at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Please be punctual. See? But first, he has to say, good morning, everyone, and greet you. Right, so that's what you say here. He should use the greeting in his emails. You should say please when you ask for a favor. 
what happens when I ask somebody a favor and I don't say please. ¿Se acuerdan de ayer que habla? No, me acuerdo. Oh my God. That we, we <laughs> it was in another class. We were talking about uh, asking for something. You can ask for a, a request, right? You can make a request saying please. Pero si usted no dice please, ese request se convierte en orden. That's a command, right? So if you say, Ceci, open the door. Ceci will be like, chita, ¿qué cree que soy? Right? But if you say, Ceci, open the door, please. Ceci will say, sure, no problem. And if you complete it with more like, Ceci, could you open the door for me, please? ¿Se acuerdan que hablábamos de polite? Eso sí lo hablábamos con ustedes, ¿verdad? Polite requests. Could you open the door for me, please? Then, Ceci will say, okay, yeah, sure. No problem. But always use. Yes. Because if I only say, could you open the door? The other will look at you like, ¿Qué le pasa? ¿Quién cree que es? Right? That's, that's what our colleagues may think. And we're just getting there giving orders. So you should say please when you ask for a favor because that is being polite. That's polite behavior. Ask the same please. But if you're not saying please, that may sound a little bit low. And probably that's not what you want, right? Okay, check. You should plus the infinitive form or the base form of the verb. Infinitive es cuando lleva tú. ¿Puedo usar tú después de should? ¿Sí? ¿Puedo usar tú después de should? ¿Sí o no? No, no, definitely no. No ocupo, no ocupo tú después de should, después de can, después de would, después de ningún modo. ¿Ok? Después de ningún modo, a menos que sea el have. Pero el have to ya lleva el to porque es parte del modo. Igual que el o to ya lleva el to porque es parte del modo. Pero de todo lo demás, mm -mm. you must go, no va a decir you must go. You can't go, no, you can't go, right? So we are going to use the base form of the verb. Plus any complement, right? Now, look at this. If we want to make a negative sentence, remember what I told you. You can use it long like this, or you can use it contracted, right? You perfectly can say, that you shouldn't use many emojis in his names. Because writing emojis is no formal, right? So that you shouldn't use many emojis in his emails. Helen should not speak so loudly. Gabriel should not tell sexist jokes. Your boss should not shout at you. So why, remember what I told you, why are they here using should and no, should not instead of shouldn't? Because if you say shouldn't, sounds like a simple recommendation, suggestion, but no. It's not too strong if you say shouldn't than if you say should not. You should not be late. And you go like, Right? They say, hey, you shouldn't be late. You see. But you should not be late. It's a call of attention. Yes? So you see why they are using a long and no contraction? 
Is that clear for you? Uh -huh. Yes, teacher, no teacher. Now, we are should plus not, should not, plus the base form of the verb. Base form. And any complement, right? That is to say that something is not appropriate. Now, let's move. Here we have some examples. Check. You should get to work on time. You should be honest. You should respect others. This is a, these are rules, right? Or appropriate behavior. Things that you should, things that you should not do. You should dress appropriately. You should pay attention. You should follow instructions, right? In your job, when your boss tells you what to do or tells you, gives you some instructions, you should follow them, right? So remember, we're talking about recommendations. Recommendations are like to tell you what is appropriate for you to do. And if we, you shouldn't or should not, that is telling what is not appropriate for you. Yes? You should not greet with a handshake. Durante pandemia, remember, we learn we should not greet with a handshake. Just like this, hey, hey, nice to see you. But no, hey, giving the hand. No, still not, right? You should not text in meetings. You shouldn't be late. You shouldn't gossip. You shouldn't use inappropriate vocabulary. Like somebody said, saying so as words in the in the workplace is not polite. Any questions here? On Sol Solita. Not just. I feel lonely, eh? Yes. Yes, yes. Is it clear? Is it clear? Hola. Hi. Yeah, hi. The the verbs in this in this case uh, is in the base form. Mm -hmm, exactly, definitely in the base form. Okay. In affirmative and negative, right? Affirmative in affirmative and negative. and negative, the verb will be in base form. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, what are you going to do here? You're going to go to work together if there's and you're going to do this, check. Here we have some situations at work that may happen. So what you're going to do is write recommendations. Remember, you can you should or you can you should not, right? To give recommendations about these people's behavior. So we have Peter is the new supervisor. He likes to give Orders, he never says please. Recommendations for Peter. Peter should ask polite requests. Peter should say please when he asks for something. He shouldn't be rude to employee. Vamos a escribir tres oraciones giving suggestions for each of the situations. Okay, here we have a when, when Carl is angry or things are not as he expects, he shouts. What should he do? What shouldn't he do? 
My assistant never uses a salutation in her emails. What should she do? What shouldn't she do? Por lo menos dos cosas que debe y una que no debe hacer hoy. Lucy likes to tell jokes in her office. She laughs aquí hay un error. No es laughs, sino que she laughs. She laughs very loudly. Imagine Susie, Lucy tells jokes and then she laughs very loud. What do you recommend to her? Two things she should, one thing she shouldn't. Yes? Yeah. Okay, teacher. Right, three, two things. Vamos a ver si me deja escribir con el, con el. For you to remember what you have to do. Right. Two things they should should do, and one yes. Three things. Three things they should do. Two things they should do, and three and one more thing that they should not do, should not. Yes? Yes, teacher. And then you will be ready to share. I'm going to paste it there in the chat. Vamos, vamos, no se me vayan. Si tienen dudas, pregúntenme, por favor. No questions. ¿Estamos claros con lo que vamos a hacer? No, teacher. Yo no estoy clara todavía. Me falta. Right. Check the structure. Es que fíjense que yo les estoy preguntando, pero están bien callados. ¿Qué les pasa? ¿Qué están tan calladitos hoy? Ah. No es viernes hoy, no se vale. ¿eh? <ríe> Mañana. Mañana le voy a decir hoy no es lunes. Ajá, tell me, Silvia, ¿qué es lo que le qué es que no le queda claro? Ah, vaya. Es que, no, supuesto, es, es una pregunta. Perdón, no le, no le comprendí. Que tengo problemas con la red, me saca cada rato de la clase y no puedo eh, con aprender el contexto Ajá. eso mismo pasa bye, bye check eh, lo que estamos haciendo ahorita es hablando de lo que es y no es appropriate, ¿se acuerdan? Uh -huh. what is appropriate what is not appropriate por ejemplo uh -huh. aquí vamos a dar recomendaciones de lo que deben de atacar, de lo que deben y de lo que no deben hacer uh -huh. en los determinados contextos o situaciones de, del bad behavior que algún employee pueda estar ¿verdad? tomando. Uh -huh. Entonces, ustedes en el ejercicio siguiente, que es este, lo uh -huh. que van a hacer es escribir dos cosas que estas personas tienen que hacer o deberían de hacer y dos ah. que no deberían hacer. Perfecto. Ajá. Ajá. Porque vaya, por ejemplo, Peter. Peter es supervisor. He's new. So he doesn't know maybe all the rules of the, of the company, right? Uh -huh. And he likes to give orders to the people. 
but he never says please. Y esta es una compañía amigable donde siempre han tratado bien al empleado, siempre le han dicho please, y le han dicho thank you, y lo han tratado bonito. Uh -huh. Pero Peter viene con otras costumbres. Y él dice, el jefe soy yo y solo da órdenes y uh -huh. no dice please. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Entonces, ¿qué recomienda? Peter should ask polite requests. ¿Se acuerdan de los polite requests? ¿Qué decía yes. ayer? Uh -huh. Could you please call walls for me? En vez de uh -huh. print these documents. Uh -huh. Open the door. No, verdad. O sea, uh -huh. he's the boss, but he should be polite. He should be, he uh -huh. should say please. No, that's what you recommend. And the other uh -huh. one says, Peter should say please. He asks uh -huh. for something. Another uh -huh. situation that you could say using a. Vamos a insertar otro cuadrito. For example, if you are. If you are giving an example using shouldn't, you could say he should not. Porque vamos a mejor should not porque está más fuerte, ¿verdad? He should not be rude to to employees. Ah, vale, vamos a seguir porque ya no cabemos. He should not be rude. ¿Sí? He should not be rude to people. He should not be rude with the employees. Entonces, siguiendo este mismo formato, es lo que ustedes van a hacer. Acá tenemos three different situations. One, Carl is angry. When Carl is angry, or things are not as he expects, he shouts. No le importa dónde está ni a quién le grita. So he shouts. ¿Qué le recomendamos a Carl? Que haga y qué le recomendamos que no. Ok. That's what you will tell me. And in the oh. other one, my assistant never uses salutations in her emails. ¿Qué le recomendamos que haga? Dos cosas. ¿Qué le recomendamos que no haga? Ok. Mm -hmm. And the same for the last one. Aquí dice la soy. Aquí fue un error de dedo que dejaron el libro. Que le pusieron lados, pero tiene que ser lazo. Se, se ríe así como. ¡Ah! Mm -hmm. Y no le importa si hay cliente o no, ¿verdad? Then you say, mm -hmm. ok, Lucy likes to tell jokes in the office. Mm -hmm. She laughs very loudly. It's crazy at laughing, Lucy. Mm -hmm. What do you recommend to Lucy? Two things that you recommend and one thing that you recommend that she don't, that she doesn't do. Mm -hmm. ¿Sí? Yes. Right. ¿Estamos listos? Sí. Sí, very nice. Vámonos, pues. I'm going to, I'm going to change you. I'm going to change you, partner. Bye, ahí estamos ya. Vámonos. Let's go, let's go. ¿Cuánta gente está fuera? Bye, join a group. Remember the situations and give recommendations. Minor Sandra Inés, 
Sandra y Mix. Sandra and Silvia. Silvia. <laughs> Minor, Sandra and Silvia Inés. Para que lo sepan. Vamos. Pues. Hi, hi. No, <laughs> Ah, ve. Les iba a pegar la hojita en el, en el, en el WhatsApp. Ok. Sí. Pegamos de nuevo. Ah, no se lleva el app. Bueno, no está pegada, chicos. Hola. Es una positiva y una negativa. One, two positive, one negative. Síganme el ejemplo. Follow the example. Ay, Claudita, Claudita. Claudita, hello. Hello, teacher, no sé si puede, puede, le pueden colaborar con el ruido por allí. Sí, teacher, tengo la puerta cerrada, pero siempre se escucha. ¿Y son los vecinos? Sí. Oh, my God. No es viernes, digan. <risa> Vaya, let's try to start. Ok. Hello. Hi. Hello, José David, Jonathan, Catherine. Hi, 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 hi. Hi. Hola, solo veo aquí a César. Vamos, chicos. Let's start. ¿Tú te más? Hello, teacher. Let's begin. Let's begin. Have something to do. Entendieron lo que van a hacer. Hola. Hola, hola. Yo entiendo. Yo entiendo. Bueno, no sé si estoy claro porque me perdí medio, pero lo que entendí ¿Por que sería. Se, ¿Por qué se me perdió, César? O sea, digamos, en lo que vamos a hacer sería, digamos, como responder como dos. Digamos, dos, tres, esto. O sea, como una afirmativa y una negativa, de lo, según la, lo dos que Dos afirmativas, una negativa. Síganme el ejemplo, exactamente como el ejemplo. Uh -huh. ah, lo mandó en el grupo. Sí, ya, ya rato. <risa> ¿Qué les pasa hoy? No es viernes. Mm. Not Friday today. Hoy sí creo que todos andamos apagados. Sí, yo no sé qué les pasa. Qué barbaridad. No es viernes ahora. Imagínense mañana cómo manda. Vamos, vamos. 
¿Ya vieron dónde les puse los que van a hacer? El grupo del WhatsApp. Sí, al WhatsApp se les mandó. Pero está Peter y está el ejemplo. Uh, Silvia, in the order, I put my assistant should not be impolite. And my assistant should be polite. Okay. Lucy should not jump in, in the office. And Lucy should, should be loud, loud, loud. I don't know. It's very strange the pronunciation. Laugh, 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 como que si fuera con F, Sandrita, laugh. Laugh, ah, thank you. Laugh. Thank you, thank you. Okay, Sandra, can you do me a favor? Can you share with the group what you have done for that exercise? Group uh, three. Uh, which sentences did you complete? Uh, I complete uh, my assistant and my assistant should not be impolite. Okay. Can you, read the, can you read the situation first and then the sentences? Okay. My assistant never used a salu salutation, salutation uh -huh. yeah. in her emails. Uh, my assistant should not be impolite. Mm -hmm. And my assistant should be polite. Okay. What else? And give me another positive recommendation. Um, my assistant should be. You can say my assistant should greet, right? Should greet. Should greet. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Exactly. Vaya, did you see the example, chicos? Yes. Yes, teacher. Hola, hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hi, Miss. Hi. Tengo la de car. Okay. Car should not shoot when things is when things are not he expect. Mm -hmm. Car should calm down when things are not he expect. Okay, should calm down, right? Calm down. Calm down when things are not as he expects. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Amanda. Who wants to be, uh, who wants to do the last one? Lucy likes to tell jokes in the office and she laughs very loudly. Lucy should not laugh very loudly in the office. Mm -hmm. What else? Lucy should not do jokes. Yeah, she should not do jokes. Not at the workplace, right? And, then, and Lucy should tell jokes outside the office. Ajá. Excellent. Thank you, Karen. Vaya, vamos a cambiar la actividad. What you're going to do now, check. Here we have four situations, right? Eh, probablemente ustedes no están familiarizados con estas, con estas situaciones. 
Entonces, ustedes van a crear sus propias situaciones que se dan en su trabajo y después van a dar recomendaciones de qué hacer con ellos. ¿Está eso claro? Yes, sí. Yes. yes. Pues, pero quiero ir a, a los grupos y de verdad escuchar que ya empezaron a hablar hoy. No es viernes, es jueves. Mañana les voy a decir que no es lunes. <ríe> que vamos, 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 ánimo. Todavía faltan 20 minutos. Go ahead. There we go. There we go, there we go. Join. Join the rooms. Write your own situations and then write the recommendations. Teacher, hey. aquí estamos hablando. ¿Ah? <ríe> Vamos. Eh, le estaba, yo le estaba poniendo atención. Ok, great. By a two situations that you see at work and then you write the recommendations, right? Mm, ok. okay. But should people do what shouldn't? Yeah, only two. Only two because of the time. We don't have much time now. Situation number one is the mark. Situation number two is the Ceci. <laughs> then you can write three situations or four. A pretty situation. <laughs> for one for each. No, mejor Amanda usted, porque usted puede más, enséñenlo. No, ustedes me van a dar su situación. <risa> Vaya, let's begin. Let's begin. What situation? Algo que ustedes ven así como que, wow, ¿qué pasa mucho aquí en la empresa? Ven. Uh -huh. Then you write the situation and after uh -huh. that you get the Es eso que estoy compartiendo, ¿verdad? In, in the company is the... Eh, Inge Edwin, mm -hmm. eh, the, the supervisor, the matching, eh, he likes to give orders, he never says please. Ah, he's like Peter. Yes. Oh, yes. Front is my <laughs> engineer. <laughs> oh. In, In my work, <laughs> in my That's, place work. Oh my goodness. Um, He's in a yeah. clown. <laughs> imagine. Mm -hmm. Imagine, imagine. Ya Silvia puede. No. Silvia y Amanda. Una podría ser. Should it not. Es por 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 otro otro ejemplo no sé Podría ser que, ay no, no sé cómo decir, una persona es de, así muy joya, no sé. ¿Cómo sería? No sé cómo decirlo. que no sé no es teacher I uh, I have a question yeah, uh, como digo que 
hiciéramos como nuestros propios situaciones. Uh -huh. Sería en base, digamos, a lo mismo que del ejercicio, digamos, una, una situación de mi caso, eh, positiva y negativa. No. Primero, no. las situaciones van a ser siempre negativas porque estamos hablando de inappropriate behavior, ¿verdad? Right? Entonces, la recomendación es la que va a ser una positiva y una negativa. Uh, uh -huh. uh, uh, porque la, situa la situación sí siempre va a ser negativa porque estamos hablando de inappropriate behavior. Mm, bueno, ya cambia la cosa. Uh -huh. Entonces... Si se fijan las situaciones que están ahí en el ejemplo... Son situaciones son... negativas, ajá, porque se trata de inappropriate behavior. Y hay que poner una respuesta como positiva y una negativa. No es, en, ajá, una recomendación. Recom algo recomendación. que se debe y algo que no se debe hacer. Oh. Ajá. Situación del trabajo. Bueno, sí, ya sé, sé cuál, pero para armar la cuestión. Situation for... Harassment. ¿Qué tiene en mente? En mente, algo que ver con el acoso, pero no sé cómo armarlo. <risa> Porque sé que en sí, aquí en mi empresa, por general, es solo en, que hay siempre que en... Digamos, mal pero, pero, puede decir que alguien anda piropeando a las chicas, por ejemplo, eso es acoso. ¿Verdad? Digamos. Here. O that is using inappropriate eh, vocabulary with the girls. That is a supervisor is. Pero para decir anda piropeando, o sea, digamos, ¿cómo se arma? O sea, es que es, que, o sea, es la, la, eh, la. Se inventa un nombre, ¿verdad? Ahí de alguien y dice: Is using inappropriate vocabulary oh. when talks to people, when talks to girls. Oh, oh. estaba pensando en otra cosa. Supervisor using a propaganda for the workers. Bye. Bueno, digamos, si se deja de, de supervisor, de supervisor use inappropriate vocabulary for co-workers in, in the answer, in the answer, um, positive for, sería, he shall, he shall, he shall not use vocabulary. She, or, he should not use inappropriate vocabulary. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We should not use inappropriate vocabulary when talking to employees, for example. To employees. Mm -hmm. We should not use inappropriate vocabulary when talking to employees. Uh, 
in place. Ya yeah, sería usando la should, should not. Y el otro, digamos, tendría que ser eso solo, should, should mm -hmm. do. He should be polite, podría ser. Or he should be respectful when he talks to employees. He should be respectful. Digamos, si solo he should, sería he should. He should be. He should be. Respectful. Respectful. Yeah. El, he should be respectful. En español sería como decir, él, él es respetuoso. Debería ser. Ah, oh, debería ser. Ajá, porque no es. Porque esa es la situación, que no es respetuoso. Entonces, he should be respectful. He should be respectful. Debería he should ser. be respectful when talking to employees. When talking to employees. Employees. Yeah. We should be respectful when talking to employees. ¿Cuántas vamos a hacer? Unas dos. Ah, todo está bien, todo está bien. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver si se si logra que le den otra situación por ahí. ¿Con qué nos muestran acá? El agua. <risa> Para que calle. No, no, water. <risa> Ajá, podría ser eso. <risa> en mi casa es que es tan difícil porque si sí solo puedo. En mi casa pasa, entonces no sé qué. Solo la que hice Karen. A mis vecinos le voy a. Compañero de trabajo. Creo que el que el que hicimos estaba bien. ¿Cuál? El de el del adulador. Ah, este del yoyo. Mm. <risa> o sea, no le vamos a poner el yoyo, ¿eh? yo, yo. ¿Cómo se cómo se puede decir eso, teacher? Yo yo el en en English. Yo, yo, person, <risa> e, e igual que, que yo, yo, del juego de no, no, ya vamos a ver. Yo encontré un noticio que decía <risa> <risa> que era como en la suela. Sí. Flattered. Vamos a ver qué dice el diccionario. Porque ahí dice flattered. <risa> Mira la explicación en español. Adicionarme. <risa> Como que el, el Spanish, Spanish está mal. Uh -huh. No sé ni llega a darme el significado. Flattering es de, 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 de only. Teacher, pero a mí me pareció boot liquor, algo así. Boot liquor y decía que era el abuelas, o sea, era como más orientado a ese tipo de gente. ¿A dónde le apareció ese? Ay, lo busqué también. Ay. ¿En un dictionary? Sí. Este me dice flattering. Ah, esa era la primera que, que aparecía. Ah, en el word reference. Sweet token. Ajá. A sweet token. 
Ay, pero es que te quiero. Aquí le da varios que son así como que. Ajá, es que eso sería como más fuerte, como así como el tipo de gente que. Sí. Que bien yo, yo te Brown no sé. El que anda lavando por interés. ¿Eh? Lo podemos dejar como. <ríe> sí. Lo podemos dejar como. Um, sweet talker o flatter. Ok. Ajá. Para no usar los términos más pesaditos, sí. Ok. Sí. El ejemplo de nosotros, teacher, es my co-worker is flattered with my boss. He told to the other, told to the other co-worker with him. Y nosotros le hemos puesto the boss should be impartial, the boss should be paying attention. Him attention. And, the, and the boss should not to hear only this boy. Should not, should not hear only his voice. Uh -huh. yeah. Explain, explain. And should I pay, should pay attention to the others. Mm -hmm. okay. Nice. Nice, nice. I like it. Let's go, let's go. Nice. You finished with the two, right? Yes. Perfect. Yes. It's some project. For activities. And projects. Activities and projects. And projects. Okay. Let's wait for everybody to come. Seconds, 24 seconds. This meeting is being recorded. Okay, bye. I start stop. Can I have, can I have volunteers? No vamos a oír mucho porque solo tenemos al menos. A ver. One situation. One situation first that you decided as a group. Mm -hmm. Hello. Only one. Um, Ceci says, yes, Sandra. Ceci says that her his co worker is hungry. Hungry or angry? <laughs> yes, hungry. hungry. Okay. <laughs> I am hungry. One, two, three. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay. What does she recommend to him or to, to her? Her or him? Him. Her, her, him. him. What do you recommend to him? What do he you should be a smiler. He should smile more? See? Smile more, yes. Okay, he should smile more. What else? What else? What else? Um, Sylvia says the boss should be listened to the employees. And the boss should not listen to the employees. Okay. And Minor the boss should not um, the boss should consider the ideas the employees and the other the boss should not consider some people for activities and projects. Mm -hmm. 
Perfect, perfect. Excellent, thank you. Great, great. Nos vamos, ¿verdad? O tengo otro volunteer. No vámonos, teacher. Vámonos ya. <laughs> vámonos. Bye, Ay, <risa> 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 Hoy, dígame. Yo le quiero preguntar algo. Pregúnteme. Mire, mañana no, no me voy a poder conectar. Ah, ¿Cómo no? Esa no es pregunta. <risa> sí, sí. <risa> ¿Cómo no? Porque ¿cómo hago? <risa> Falla. Ah, la oportunidad te... después dice. Sí. Vaya. Sí, ni modo, no, ni modo, ni modo, si sí, sí, no puede. Ah. O puedo conectarme y, y estar solo conectada. Qué triste, no. Mire cómo me deja solita. No me haga eso. Vaya, este, lo que puede hacer es oír el video entonces. Oye, ver el video. Ajá. Pero para que me triste. cuenten las horas. Ah, bueno, entonces ahí sí, ni modo, vea, pero le doy. Ahí nos oye, aunque sea por ratitos, y nos comenta algo por ratitos, aunque sea. Vaya, voy a hacer todo lo posible. Si no, ahí, ahí voy a estar como oyente nada más, solo para que ya sepa usted. Va, pero de oyente es que oye, ¿verdad? No. El oyente oye, yo voy a oír. Ok. Vaya, El oyente pues. cero. Pues sí, ¿verdad? Porque si no me oyen es oyente. Vamos a ver. Solo porque es la primera vez, dice Vamos a ver, Amanda Yesenia, present. Present. Carlos Alfredo. Present. Cecilia. Present. César. Present. Claudia Ivonne. Present, teacher. Jonathan. Present, teacher. José David. Present teacher. Juan Antonio. Present. Eh, Juan Carlos. No hay de qué Juan Carlos. Karen Leticia. Present teacher. Carla. Juan Carla. Catherine, 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 Marco Rubén, Minor, Present, Silvia Estela, Present Teacher, Silvia Inés, Present Teacher, Tatiana, Tatiana no estuvo hoy, ¿verdad? Y Catherine Beatriz. Present teacher. Excelente. Teacher, me, Sandra. Ay, Sandrita, no la llamé. No. Iba corriendo. Ma, mm -hmm. Después de minor, ¿va usted? Yes. Vaya, Sandra, present. Present. Okay. Nice, nice. Vaya. Hoy se queda conmigo quién? Karen, creo que le toca la campaña. I think it's me, teacher. ¿Verdad que Karen. sí? Sí. A ver, a ver. And the others see you 
tomorrow. Good night. See you. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye bye. Bye, Juan Antonio. Bye bye. Bye, teacher. Bye bye, teacher. Vamos, hay que dormirse ya para tener energía mañana. See you, see you. Hi, Karen. How are you? Fine, teacher. ¿Qué me cuenta? Poco pesado, teacher. Porque ah, mi mamá la semana pasada se lastimó una pierna, entonces me toca eh. andar oyendo la clase, corriendo, atenderla y todo. Entonces. Oh, my God. Sí. It's not easy. No, teacher. So you're receiving the class in the cell phone right now? Yes. Yeah, because like that you can be moving, right? Yes. You can move far away from because of the computer you're there that you cannot go anywhere mm -hmm. but that's yes. yeah, that's the advantage of the of the self and then that's the advantage of the platform that you can move and you can have it easily in the in the con that's an advantage tell me yes. do you have any questions or comments yes, for get and go I, I do the all the platform, but mm -hmm. I have a question with get and go. I don't understand with the emphasis for for Did one and the other. One. Where are you? In uh, which one? You in the four. Four. How four to use the and go? Yes, teacher. Sure. Mm -hmm. What is the number? Do you remember? Is in the forty-six, the page forty-six. Ah, okay, from the manual. Yes. Okay. Ah, okay. When it says, "How can I get to?" How can I? For example, if I say. How do how can I get to the to the center of San Salvador? Well, you can take a bus. You can take a bus to go to the center of San Salvador. Okay. Or you can rent a car, you can take an Uber to go to the center of San Salvador. How can I get this como llego? Right? In that question. In the other one that you say, I'm going to rent a car as soon as I get. Cuando llegue. Right? As soon as I get to Panama. I'm going to give you a call as soon as I get to my home. Cuando llegue. Y si usted dice, I will go home at six. Go es cuando usted sale de su trabajo. I will go home at six. Sale, se va. Pero get va a ser en el momento en que llegue. O sea que según el, el manual sería get is for arrival y go is to from HP. For living. Por ejemplo, en la oración que dice I go home around seven. If you go home around seven, that means that you get home at about 7.30 or 8. Okay. Mm -hmm. aquí le dan, I usually get to the office at 6.30. O sea, esa hora llega a la oficina. Right? Pero en este caso del I go home es cuando usted sale de la oficina y se va para su casa. Podría decir también, I live the office at seven. Mm -hmm. Es lo mismo. I leave the office at seven or I go home at seven. A esa okay. hora se va. Pero a qué horas llega, ya sería a get. Sí. Okay. I'm going to go to the conference. Voy a ir. Mm -hmm. Y cuando llegue, 
te llamo. Mm -hmm. So you say, I will go to the conference. When I get there, I call. Uh -huh. so the get es el momento en, de la arrival. Right? Uh -huh. Y go eh, tiene que ver con motion. Por eso es que usualmente el go está ligado a tú. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. I go to work. Yo me muevo hacia el trabajo. Entonces, esa sería la diferencia ahí entre get and, and go. Ok. Y, y hay otro error. Hay un uh -huh. error. Usted no dice by foot, usted dice on foot. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? You go on foot. Uh -huh. Ok. Y el otro con el should, teacher, cuando es tercera persona, el verbo, digamos, she no should. Cambia. Y, no eh, cambia. Sí, con los modas, con los modas, siempre va a usar el, el modal así y el verbo en forma base. I should go, she should go. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Por eso cuando veían ahí el, el he should not shout to people. He should be polite. Porque con, el, con los modas puede ser should, puede ser would, puede ser can, puede ser could. Con cualquier moda no le vamos a poner tú ni tampoco ese, aunque sea tercera persona la que estamos usando, ¿verdad? Porque son modas. Entonces el moda lo que hace es modificar el significado del verbo. Pero, pero la estructura gramatical... Es así, el modal y el verbo en forma base, y igual en todos los tiempos, o en todas las personas, okay. aunque sean terceras personas. Uh -huh. ¿Y el, los modal pueden ser en pasados? Sí, pero ahí ya no es should, sino que should have. Should have. I should have gone, debía haber ido. Ahí ya ocupamos en participio el, el verbo. Ajá, I should have gone. Si va el should, pero ya el verbo ya no en forma base, sino que con el have y en pasado participio. I should have gone. Ay, debía haber ido. Y no fui ya. Es más que, es, que se ocupa como el significado ahí, es más que todo como un regret de lo que debió haber hecho y no hizo, o de lo que no debió haber hecho e hizo. Por uh -huh. ejemplo, if you say, ya está así, ¿verdad? Se siente con el estómago bien lleno. I should not have eaten so much. I no. shouldn't have eaten so much. No debía haber comido tanto. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Pero ese sería past. Ya con el, con el have y el verbo en past parece. Más grande la estructura. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, ya ese es más grande. Esa la van a ver más adelantito. Todavía falta. <risa> no sé si tiene alguna otra preguntita. No, teacher, solo eso. Ok, perfecto. Vaya, pues. See Vaya. you tomorrow. Sí. Espero que mañana me anden más activos y andaban así. Ay, sí, bueno, yo estoy bien cansada, pero quizás... Y yo que más... venía de donde la dentista hoy, así como que me dolía la boca hablar. Y así bueno, que, que hablen mucho. Hablar, <ríe> y yo ahí espero que hablen mucho ellos ahora, dije yo, porque me duele la boca. Así que todo no, 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 no. lo dejan a uno, pero no, ni modo. Sí. Verdad, hoy andaban. La aberración, la aberración. <ríe> sí, hombre, sí, es que hoy andaban así. Ajá, como que nos habían dado algo para dormir, quizás. Creo que <ríe> muchos pitos han sacado ya. O oh, a usted le pusieron la anestesia y a nosotros nos caló. No, sí, mi anestesia, yo no me dejo poner anestesia, no me gusta. Ay, Imagínese no. venir a dar la clase con la boca nunca de lado aún. No. Ajá, pero... sí, no, me, lo lastimado más por las cosas que le meten a uno, pero Ay, sí, la anestesia no, no me gusta. Ay. Mejor me aguanto. <risa> Mejor Ay. me aguanto. Porque el asunto es que si no, uno no habla bien porque la boca se va toda el año. Sí, es cierto. Sí, pero, se sí, siente bien. Sí, le digo a la dentista, no sea clase, voy a que no vaya, está bien, se aguanta. Pero igual, o sea, su nivel de dolor no es tan bajo, pues, para que aguante. 
Sí. Sí, sí, ahí me dice ella. Bueno, si aguanta, y si ya me aguanta, me dice. Y me pongo, pero aguanto. <risa> Prefiero aguantar eso que el bullón de la mestiza. Eso sí. Bueno, pero es que ahora ocupan otra técnica. Tienen un su, como una su gomita, una pastita. Se lo ponen y luego le dejan ir. Bueno, en mi casa sí me han hecho. Ponen la no pastita. Me ponen pastita o no, el cuyo, sí, pero, es un... pero la última vez me pusieron eso y como dos veces me pusieron. Ay, pero yo sentía que no tenía es boca. Horrible, duele todo. Así que no me gusta. <risa> Vaya, pues nos vemos mañana entonces, Karen. Vale, okay. mucho. Muchas gracias. Ok, bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. bye, -bye.